Okay, being a black and then uh, Mother Nature luck or whatever, we just basically get uh, our actual factual that this planetoid object that's up there that because uh, basically going back here to the 18th you can see our planetoid object and we have the magnetical going down and mother nature or luck or whatever you want to call it has given us this action from the 19th okay now the mercury is what you see in the shot as I'll blow, I'll blow in here and then I've got some I, I have a couple set up with pros where you can be able to see now we come across and Mercury is the top object it looks large because it's closer to the camera and actually they just barely flash and show you that they got Mercury there too you see that flash so barely there when it's flashed and they say that that's Mercury and I knew it was Mercury and Earth's below so as you see the little magnetical uh, it's our static cling to the Sun and I'll prove that to you too. I can go to some uh, telemetry that we, we've always known from the backside, and they have it down but real good now. They know all about the static electrical now that they're starting to let everybody, oh, at least if you've got a scientific mind. So but the lower is Earth, but Earth is farther away. And I can show you in that factuality too of, and yes, it's basically pan stars is not a comet, it's basically a falling planetoid object or a falling star because it's doing the same thing to the sun that the meatball normally does when it rolls around our solar system and so actual factual you get this action here and I can basically slow it down in step and I'll put this to slower here we'll slow it down just a little bit you'll get in and see the action and now like when I first started the video up you could see that that planetoid object which is that object right there which I took you to the 18th and showed you that's there and although this is here too but that is the actual factual that when we got that this is actually farther back out in space well actually it's kind of hard to tell but the idea that this object when I showed you that frozen shot of basically I can I think go forward here no nope. I'm gonna go forward because that's drawing the electrical energy back into the Sun and as you see this flicker, it gives you a streak down that this object, and looks like we might have some kind of a comet or something right there too. We need to take a look at that uh, up there where we know that we see the object all the time. So maybe we need to start keeping more of an eye on that as you can see there. Now remember this is from A shooting across by Mercury in front of, you know, basically this is in front of Mercury in Earth in front of the Sun. So we get a good uh, something with electrical there, right there, a good flash or something there. We'll custom up and we'll just hit 888 real fast. Boom. Zoom in on that so you get that effect there. So there might actually be a comet there somewhere up there. Way back we get a Mother Nature, Luck, Lady Luck, whatever you want to call it, of our action that coming across with the, what we're seeing here on this video here. And I'll just keep stepping. And you can go back and basically we have this lower object too. Now remember where Mercury and Earth are right here. So we know that all this stuff is close as we get, because the Pan Stars is doing this to the sun and giving us that shadow that we're getting that action to see that stuff. And as you see there, like I was saying before, well these objects are still there, but you get more of a good size since the, it blocks off the light curvature off the sun. Pan Stars is doing that on the back side of the sun. And they rode, rolled, as you can see in all the other videos. So today on the 21st, you got to watch. I've made about, this is like the fourth or fifth video and stuff like that because we have such great footage here. And this object, no matter what, is close and in our solar system. As you see, still see the magnetic line there. And also these here are in our solar system or damn close to the fringe of it. And pretty much damn well, not that damn far away. Okay. The actual factual is we get more action. And then we get this here. Uh, they're hiding something right here that is possibly, uh, I would say, configured wise. Uh, it's hard to tell, but they're they're not they're not wanting us to see something that blinked there. So definitely, is something is is a miss where they, they end up, and then maybe it shows more of the truth of these being close and in, in the same. How we've been busting their balls by showing all this actual factual that, and I'll go ahead and get us going in the right direction again. That sure looks like they're clipping off just above them all right actually yep 
So not the two lower objects, these two objects right there, it looks like they're not wanting you to know that possibly that they're in our solar system too. We're damn close. So just factual that that's getting blocked for some reason. They decided to put that in the footage. Okay. So we go forward here and then I'll just hit, uh, cause you're probably gonna hear the tapping and I'll just hit play. And that's what we got. And remember that's Mercury. It's the bigger flare because it's closer to the camera at the angle and Earth is a little bit out of the shot and basically just the bottom little flare that you get there. The bottom little magnetical flare, that is Earth. Okay, so I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, I'm gonna go over and look at B on uh, the red too. I'll try to sneak that on the back side, but if I don't show it to you, there's probably maybe something that's not really that noticeable, but we probably should because uh, we probably maybe get some more action from the back side from B, so let me get us queued up and to see what we have and I've pretty much showed you what I wanted to show you here but there's a lot in these recently when we get these shots like this and that one that rotated there's a ton of scientific factual here so pan stars is not a comet see we're at 19th and we're at B the other one's from Ace and as you see you get uh, big old flash and you just have to match up you watch your clock here and you can go ahead and play with the video and watch the clock on this one here and watch the clock on A and then you'll see that basically you see the spit of our electrical static magnetical right there but see the angle that you don't see the, it from mercury because of the, because of the of the angle of the shot so more than likely this is mercury here it's not marked but then again this could be our no that's actually I know that that's not mercury forget that that is not mercury that is our planetoid object that is down low okay they don't want you to know about this object. You've basically seen that magnetic line. This is in our solar system. It's down low, and it is rotating clockwise around this, the sun. Okay, Remember that, because we've already seen Mercury pass by in the footage. You can go back and look. Just backdate yourself every day from the 19th, and you'll see Mercury is over here Okay, from the angle of this shot on B. Okay, So, and remember, pan stars left us up here. You can barely just see a little bit of the pan star's tail right here. Okay. So remember, we're at B on this shot, and then we're at, uh, I'm not sure which one I'm, I'm hitting when I come back around yet. I'm at the right one. We're over at A on this shot. So it's not the meatball. Uh, something to do with pan stars did that. But then again, maybe the pan, maybe the, one of the meatballs again is around over by that side of the sun. So no matter what, we get more scientific action of light curvature in space again, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, this is all electrical energy that you see. Light curvature, direct DC voltage from the sun, nuclear fusion, DC electrical current, okay? And uh, actual factual scientific fact. So these objects are all bling, 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 bling. All this stuff is in our solar system. And if not, it's barely, barely barely outside our solar system if anybody wants to say that this stuff is not in our solar system and it really this this these two objects here no matter what are in our system because they have a magnetic line to them and then these are not that far off in light years probably maybe one or two IU if even that and by this with the sun and the action doing that and then so showing up in the darkness there that more than likely that uh, slow it down because basically this is just basically the, this whole video and uh, Freeze that for you when it comes through there and no matter what this had a magnetical to it too You can see the magnetical there of that there It'll pop up at 400 for that lower object there so Then I might have uh, I don't know what if I hit play or I don't mean to hit play I guess it's maybe just the light it's so strong in the shot of the picture, I guess. So basically, you can see that that has magnetical to it, to it. So no matter what, and then, like I say, this is very interesting that we may have found a comet going off in space up there. Uh, so you can go around and research your comets. We know it's not pan stars. We know it's not ison, and we know that's not uh, 
this could be what we were seeing a long time ago that we still are getting a shot of our I'm trying to remember which one it was now that this that we were showing before when we had the meatball action remember when I was showing you the meatball action before that we seen the comment out there so at this exposure of the light curvature off of off of and I just said I'd have to go research on all my you know so many comments been coming around I'm trying to remember if that's like uh, is that DA14? Uh, uh, DA14? Uh, no, because Panstars is Panstars is L4, 2011 L4. Yeah, that I'm not sure if it's J. This is one of them. One of, it, that's a comment that we've seen before that we were watching before, and we can see it from the light curvature there. You get a good signature too off of the shadow of Mercury being close to the to the uh, uh, satellite right there on that shot. And you can get the separation of the magnetical and the shadow of Mercury and then of Earth, but Earth is farther away and then the static cling goes farther out there on that shot. So, some great scientific evidence and all this action from the 19th. Thanks, Sechi and every branch in the U.S. military. So, all this stuff is in our solar system more than likely, and if not, it's right to flip in the neighborhood. So i.e. they're blocking there on there they block those two objects right there I believe I pointed to them correctly before because I think I'm going back you know pretty sure that if you go like that so they've been blocking some objects on some shots but they showed us with the uh, so the blocking there's so much action going on that NASA can't keep up with blocking what certain money donators I guess to NASA and ESA want or any branch they need it to pays for anything so uh, somebody's wanting to hide something somehow something somebody's decided that certain things should be blocked so it doesn't make any scientific sense for scientists so we want to know actual fact F-A-C-T I'm going to fact you to death F-A-C-T you to death because that stuff is there so and basically I'll just hit uh, get us going and hit play end this video out with just the action and then we're going back into the sun and then we'll hit forward quit playing around here boom there you go so it'd be nice if NASA would quit playing around because somebody's decided to block something down there and it's those two objects right there those two objects and you can, you can see they block them in too and we ended up finding the other object that's there so, peeky poo, thanks for all the footage. Pretty wild, huh, folks? So, more facts <coughs> in actual about space in the future. <coughs> Watch all the videos I put up today. A lot of action. So, thanks, Sechi. Now remember they don't turn this satellite all the time so pretty much we should be able to keep an eye on this up by Saturn but hopefully they'll keep turning too and we'll see everything and then this was from the 18th and I'll go down here and hit play and then I'll I'll get over to the finish the video off and, and give you from the 19th also okay this is through 24 hours of period of time remember what we see from the 19th it looks like it's rising okay so that's 24 hours period of time of action right there in your eyeball and then I have to cue us up. This was the 19th. Remember, they rotate to Mars here in a second. That's how big and bright it is. And they go over to Mars. And they come back, and this is the action from the 19th. Prove it to you that it's the 19th. All. As soon as they start rotating again, all will come down. So just remember, it's safe because it looks like we're high. It's high, which is good. I'll go down here and give you the date. See, this is the footage from the 19th, and I'll come back up. And then I'll show you, since it's high on Saturn, what's good about Earth is the idea that if this thing was going to go any direction, that no matter what, we're going straight across. You know, I'm going to pick up Earth if we come back. There's Earth and Mercury, and there's Saturn, so that's where it's at. So the idea that it's high, so it's high. So we should be, as far as Earth goes, we should be fine. Because it's even higher than when we originally first seen it, too. Because you, you can stay how high it is because of Saturn. So it's getting higher, so which that's good, good news, whatever it is. So, and then remember they rotated, so then you went over and you could see where they designated B, and then there's Earth and Mercury there. Flip over real fast, third left, Saturn, and that's where it's at, and then back over to Earth and Mercury. So, should be safe.
and that was all this footage from the 19th so just thought I'd put that on the end of the video we had a few minutes here we can make 15 minute videos so